In this video, I want to talk a little bit about why I think it's advantageous to consider using your resistance scale when checking diodes rather than just the diode check function. Now, one of the problems you'll have when you're using the resistance scale of your multimeter is it doesn't provide a high enough voltage across the diode to get any kind of reading at all. So, for example, here I'm on the resistance scale. I can measure across this diode and I don't get anything at all. So one of the advantages of the diode check function is it puts a voltage across the diode. So here, for example, I get nothing in that direction. And here, flipping it around, getting 0.5, and that's the voltage drop across the diode. And that voltage drop is usually going to be about 0.2 to um, 0.6. And uh, it can vary depending on the type of diode. But one of the pr common things I've run into over the years, a lot of times you're going to measure a diode in a circuit that's got another component in parallel with it. And oftentimes, I, I would get confused by some of the readings I get. So for example, here we've got a relay here. And, and this is the thing you commonly see as the diode going across the coil side of a relay. So if I measure the, the, uh, the uh, diode here on the diode check function, I've got 0.136. And if I switch the leads around, it doesn't matter. I've still got 0.136. Now in the past, I would often find myself unsoldering a lot of diodes and checking them again to see if there was something else going on. But I find it it's, uh, can be a real time saver just to flip it over to the resistance scale, see if you've got an actual short. Because what I've noticed is almost any time a diode goes bad, it's going to have one ohm or less resistance across it. So if I throw my meter on the resistance scale here, here we're able to measure uh, 161 ohms. And that's really showing me the resistance of the coil. It's not really picking up anything as far as the diodes. So that's uh, one helpful tip there. And uh, I'm just kind of curious, uh, because I've checked uh, so many diodes over the years, I I've thought it'd be interesting to ask my viewers, have you ever seen a diode go bad that actually uh, opened up internally? I have seen it on a rare occasion uh, where a diode would actually check good, at, even though it had a problem. But I, I find that most of the time when a diode goes bad, it shorts out internally. And uh, anyway, uh, be curious to get your, your thoughts on that. Uh, by the way, I, I thought I'd show the list here of the diodes that I carry in my own inventory. I found that these have covered the majority of what I need when I'm troubleshooting TVs. There are one, there's a few that I need to special order, but I'm going to leave this list up here uh, for the newbies that are uh, trying to get into troubleshooting a little bit. And um, these might be diodes you'd, you'd want to consider having in your inventory. And uh, let's see if I get it all in there. There we go. Anyway, as always, I hope you like the video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.